और लगातार बात बड़ी खबर की हो रही है राहुल गांधी की लोकसभा की सदस्यता रद्द की जा चुकी है लोकसभा सचिवालय ने नोटिफिकेशन जारी कर लोकसभा से उन्हें अयोग्य करार दिया है इसी पर पूरे देश में घमासान मचा हुआ है एक तरफ कांग्रेस पार्टी के कार्यकर्ता लगातार विरोध प्रदर्शन कर रहे हैं प्रतिक्रियाओं का दौर इस पर जारी है सो फ्रेंड्स एज यूजल इन हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश I it'll take some time, so please be patient. I'll be doing in both languages, and your colleagues should not be affected in any one language. <laughs> Friends, the issue before us hmm. is political, <coughs> even before legal. Both facets are important, but it's a vital political issue for this country, for all political parties, for leaders of all political parties. it is a political issue because it signifies the systematic repetitive emasculation of democratic institutions by the ruling party it signifies the strangulation of democracy itself we know that defamation is an exception to free speech but over the last several years we have had repeated examples of unthinkable assaults on free freedom of speech more importantly on freedom after speech after speech you are told that you will be visited with the worst possible consequences be it criminal be it civil be it incarceration be it intimidation be it harassment in every sphere of your life we all know that shri rahul gandhi has been speaking out fearlessly inside and outside parliament he has spoken on social issues on economic issues on political issues without any fear or inhibition frankly and candidly through you to india clearly he is paying a price for it clearly this government is rattled because he speaks with facts figures on demonetization be it on a clean supposed clean chit to china be it on gst he is consistently aggressive and open in his questioning and therefore this government is doing all these finding new techniques of throttling his voice of gagging him shri rahul gandhi goes abroad he is not entitled to speak freely on grounds of fake nationalism created imaginary nationalism rhetorical nationalism non existent issues he comes back and his speeches abroad become the basis of action against him inside parliament he speaks in parliament one of the most detailed and open speeches when the prime minister spoke and he is referred to the privileges committee after he came back from abroad and post the recess when this session starts a remarkably new ground is found unheard of in the annals of parliamentary history the ruling party resorts to disruption every day saying a precondition for someone to speak in parliament or attend parliament is that he must first apologize i don't think in any parliamentary democracy westminster or not westminster you have found this kind of stipulation so disruption by the ruling party all of this is part of a pattern all of this is part of a pattern to stop him a because he speaks fearlessly and candidly b to divert attention from the real issues to divert attentions attention from the questions which my friend here asks every day to divert attention from the burning issues before the nation today and it is done also to send a message to create a fear psychosis amongst those who dare 
to question this government. Friends, that is the political part. That is what should concern our body polity. There is equally a legal part. I have shared some of that with you yesterday. Since we have had slightly more time, let me uh, elaborate a little more today. When you hurry, when you are premeditated, when you have decided to do something, you make mistake after mistake after mistake. You multiply mistakes on a repetitive basis. <laughs> take for example, take for example, the alacrity with which you are moving. Within 24 hours, you are moving with amazing alacrity. I need to remind you that a few months ago, in a case of another political leader from Uttar Pradesh, belonging to the leading party in that state, the Supreme Court, quote unquote, when an immediate by-election was sought to be announced post-disqualification of that person because of uh, conviction, immediately, without waiting for that person to exhaust the legal remedies available, the Supreme Court in that case not only deferred the by-election, but then added, look with what alacrity have you proceeded. This is yet another example. But it gets curiouser and curiouser. As I told you yesterday, there is a provision created in law specifically called 202, which says, if allegedly I commit a defamatory offence in place X, in this case Kolar, Karnatak, and if somebody chooses to sue me in Gujarat or Bihar, as in this case Surat, then the magistrate before whom a complaint is filed is mandatorily, I repeat, mandatorily obliged to conduct a preliminary inquiry as to whether he has jurisdiction to start and initiate the proceeding. He has to call for a report either himself or through the police or through agencies. To the best of our knowledge, this point is taken by Sri Gandhi's lawyers, noted in the judgment and not decided. Admittedly, no inquiry is conducted because there is a tearing hurry to go ahead in a place which might well be without any jurisdiction at all, namely Surat, Gujarat. As I said, it gets curiouser and curiouser. I mentioned another example yesterday. I have the dates now. Let me walk you through it. The complaint is filed approximately in April 2019. I think the exact date is April 16, 2019 at Surat. The magistrate is one Mr. Dave. On 2021, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, in 2021, year, two years later in June, appears in the court to record his statement in person. Sri Rahul Gandhi appears in that court. In March 22, that is three years after the complaint is filed, and one year after Sri Rahul Gandhi appeared there, the complainant files an application against Saman Rahul Gandhi. When that application is rejected, possibly by a firm magistrate, obviously he had been called, he had come a second time, you cannot harass people to come again and again, he rejects it. At that point, the complainant rushes to the High Court and gets a stay of his own complaint. The High Court grants that stay on 7th of March 2022. So I file a complaint, I seek a stay of my own complaint. Perhaps days are not auspicious, the climate is not ecologically suitable. Now the same complainant after a hiatus of 11 months, when he has no interest in his own complaint, suddenly wakes up and goes on 16th February this year. seeking a vacation of the same stay which he himself obtained. And I quote, he pleads, and you must all read between the lines. We will of course take all this in the appeal. We have legal records. Quote, he says, sufficient evidence has come on record of the trial court and the pendency of the present matter delays the trial. Pendency of what matter? His own high court petition. He says he is delaying his own trial. 
So he says, please vacate. Now, the sentence is, though sufficient evidence has come on record, no new evidence has come on record, actually. The High Court vacates the stay, the man rushes back to the trial court and we get this judgment. Meanwhile, the magistrate has changed. We were not born yesterday, neither you nor me. Chithbi apni, patbi apni. There are many more disturbing features about this case. There is a point which we may or may not take. I am not saying that everything Rahul Gandhi needs to take because he is fearless, he knows in his conscience, he has full 